Hi, welcome to my channel Too Irrational, where we see everything mathematics and statistics. I am Pranesh Sharma, and in this video, we'll be talking about how to find probability of standard normal distribution using our calculator FX991ES. Yes. Now, the first thing we'll do is go to mode and go to the stat mode. You can see here three, and we'll just press AC. We'll not select any of these menus. And now when we are here in stat mode, the first thing we will do is go to this stat menu. Okay, so for that we'll go to shift and press one and you can see it gives us a menu of type, data, sum, variance, distribution, minimum, maximum. We are going to go for distribution today. So we'll press five. Here you would see P, Q, R and this something arrow T. Okay, this arrow T is basically to convert your given data into equivalent standard normal distribution that is part of some other video right now we'll talk about this p q and r to find probability we'll need one of these but what are these what is p what is q what is r let me explain that using the simple diagram as you can see here when we are talking about a standard normal distribution if you are finding probability from minus infinity to a particular value x, we'll say probability is at less than x, we will be using p. When we are finding probability from the central value that is our 0 to this particular value x, we'll be using q and if you are finding greater than probability, we'll be using r. Here your x can be positive, negative, anything works. So if I find probability, let's say I'll use p first. Here let's say we are trying to find probability that our z is less than 1.96. For that we'll use p, I'll press 1 and I will just write 1.96 and equal to and I get probability as 0 0.975. If I wanted to find probability from 0 to x, this 1.96 we know it will be 0.5 less because this region minus infinity to 0 gives us probability as 0.5. So it should be this minus 0.5. Let's check that. For that, all I have to do is shift again 1, 5 and I'll go for 2 this time. Q and if I put 1.96, we'll get 0.475. And if I want greater than all I have to do is 1 minus of this, 1 minus of this, that means I should see 0 0.025. We'll check that as well. I'll press shift 1, 5, we'll go to 3. Here, if I put 1.96 and if I press equal to, we'll see it is nearly 0 0.025. So using this, you can find any standard normal distribution probability, whether you are going from minus infinity to that value or going from zero to the value or finding greater than probabilities. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and do comment on what functions would you like more videos on. See you in the next one.